Hey guys, welcome back again. Day three, welcome back. Of Philippians, we're in chapter three. Day three, chapter three, and um, there's great stuff. So we encourage you to read the whole thing, but man, you gotta read, well, you, you gotta read chapter two, even though we skipped it, because yeah. we couldn't address the whole chapter. Um, chapter three is really amazing too, but chapter four has got some really great stuff too. Yeah. So just read the whole just thing. Read the whole book. Um, all right, let me open up with prayer, and then we're gonna dig in a little bit to a couple verses in chapter three. Um, Lord God, you are good and uh, you are at work and we've already heard that and we thank you for that and you're not done yet and God we recognize that um, we pray that you will continue to be at work in our lives and that we will continue to live for Christ even though to die may be gain we're gonna live for Christ uh, may you be honored and glorified in and through our lives as we seek you we pray this in the name of Jesus Amen. All right, so Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. Um, but read all of it to get the context. But here's 13 and 14. He says, Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. So as PJ said, you, you need to read the verses before this too to really get, because, you know, I do not consider that I've made it my own. Well, what's <laughs> it? That's it. Just it, anything. Um, that starts, I think, back in verse 8 when he talks about this goal that he has of knowing Jesus and being transformed into his likeness and sharing in fellowship with Jesus. So it's knowing Jesus and being transformed. And then uh, before that, he says, I'm not perfect yet. I'm still reaching forward to that. I mean, if you think about Paul, if you think about somebody who is like you, you might consider a spiritual giant, Paul would be up there, I think. Right. But even Paul will look at himself and go, man, God is still working in me. Just like we were reading about, uh, was it two days ago, that God is still working. He's going to bring that work to completion in mm -hmm. the church. And I kind of said, whether that happens in you as an individual is a different matter because that's kind of what Paul is talking about here. Um, I'm not there yet. I don't consider to have made it my own or to have yet obtained it, as some translations say. Mm -hmm. um, so he's pressing forward for the work that God is going to do in him and for knowing Jesus better. That's the prize that he talks about here in verse 14. The prize is knowing Jesus and seeing him face to face, something we get to look forward to someday, but something we also get to experience now partially. And so he's straining for that. Uh, in verse, I want to say it's verse 12, he talks about making every effort. That's something may, we don't like to hear sometimes. We hear about, well, the work that God is doing in us, there's no effort on my behalf. Well, that's true for salvation. Your effort will not save you. <laughs> no amount of effort will save you. Once you're saved, though, there is this mysterious cooperation between God's strength and his power uh, cooperating with our effort. So there is effort in straining forward towards the goal. But my encouragement to you is that the goal is worth straining forward to, toward. If you want to put effort into something that's worth putting effort into, it's reaching forward to know Christ and to see him and to be transformed by him. Knowing that God is going to work through that effort and he is going to reward that. He's not going to if you're reaching forward to him and saying, God, I want to know you better. I want to see you more clearly. I want to be transformed. God's not going to go, no, I think you're being really selfish. I'm not going to give you that. He's going to go, that's exactly what I want to give you. That's the work that I want to do in you. Because that's what you were created to be like. You were made in the image of God. Sin has broken all of that down, but I want to restore that. That's what we get to see come to full completion someday. But God's doing that work here and now. So what are you putting your effort into? Are you putting your effort into what you were made for and something that's going to satisfy you? Uh, because what you were made for is fellowship with Jesus and to be like him and to share in his life. So our encouragement to you is, like Paul, don't sit, don't sit around and go, ah, you know what, I've made it, I'm good. God has so much more for you. So strain forward, press forward into that goal, and you will be rewarded. And just a shameless plug here, our um, Advent kind of theme is enough. 
um, that Jesus Christ is enough. Paul was straining for Jesus. We want to encourage you to join us for those Advent services. If you're watching this on Wednesday, um, Thursday, I don't know when you're going to be watching this, but we want to encourage you to uh, check it out. And if we only have one left next week, join us for that final one next Wednesday. Uh, we'd love to have you and just hear how Christ is enough. Um, have a great day. Uh, think about this. Um, ask yourself what stood out to you. Spend some time in prayer, and we'll hope to see you back tomorrow. We'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.